in Surah Rome, the chapter named Rome, right, Rome, it talks about the battle of the Persians and the Roman Empire, the Byzantians. And the Byzantians are, uh, take a very heavy loss. The Persians almost wipe them off. They almost finish them, right? The Quran predicts that within three to nine years, the Romans will defeat the Persians. And Allah says in the lowest land, one of the translations is in the lowest land. Not only did the Romans come back and defeat the Persians, but today we learn that that land that they fought in is the lowest part of land mass in the entire world, the on the globe, the Dead Sea. Okay, now the prophecy could have failed on many fronts. The Muslims could have attacked the uh, Romans and defeated them because they were very weak. That didn't happen. The Persians could have actually b gone back and defeated the Romans. The prophecy would have failed. There were so many ways a prophecy would have failed. But Allah told us that this will happen. And indeed, that is what happened. There are many other things the Quran touches on in terms of nature. There's a very interesting uh, book written by uh, Dr. Maurice Bukhail, French uh, physician. He studied the mummy that was believed to be at the time of Moses. And he was shocked that this mummy was supposed to be drowned because the story of Moses was that the Pharaoh was drowned. He said, but this is remarkably preserved. It's amazing because if somebody drowns within a few hours in the heat, the body would have decomposed. But this has been recovered very quickly and it's been mummified very quickly. Even the hairs are visible. You can go and watch, uh, you go on uh, Google, you can Google Remesis the second, I think it is, or the third, which is the, uh, uh, expected to be the mummy at the time of the, uh, the Pharaoh, at the time of the Prophet Moses, peace be upon him. Allah mentioned this in the Quran. And when somebody said to him, don't mention this to the Muslims, he said, why? He says, because in the Quran, Allah told them that he will preserve his body as a sign for the people, as a warning for the people. He was shocked. He was not Muslim. So he studied the Quran, he studied the Bible, and he studied science. And he wrote a book, Le Bible, Le Quran, Le Science. No, no, I'm giving you the topic. This is the topic. He became Muslim because he realized that the phenomena that are mentioned in the Quran could not have come from a man in a desert in the 7th century. These are remarkable things. Many of these things were discovered centuries later. And the prediction of Pharaoh being saved is an amazing prediction because if we never found the body, nobody would have known, right? But today we found the body and it was preserved the way the Quran says, Allah says in the Quran, we shall preserve it as a sign for the people in the future. There are, about the body of Pharaoh. Pharaoh, there are hundreds of statements like this in the Quran. Hundreds, not one, not two. When I studied them, I realized this book is not from a man in a desert in the seventh century who was known to be illiterate, could not read or write. This is something so profound that it could have only come from Allah. Now, Allah mentions in the Quran woman and he mentions man exactly the same number of times. Allah mentions angels and demons exactly the same number of times. Allah mentions his mercy twice as much as he mentions his wrath, his anger. Now the Quran was revealed over 23 years. There were no verse numbers. There were chapters like Surah Baqarah, the second chapter, which has 286 verses. It was revealed over 10 years. Whilst other chapters were being revealed, and even Surah Baqarah was not revealed in order. Some verses coming from here, some verses coming from there, some verses coming from here, sometimes something happening. What about and the, the prophet and the, the prophet. One ate, second, one uh, second. That's not a verse. One second. No, right? A, yeah, so now, no verse, no time, verse yeah? numbers, no editorial process, nothing written down in, in a book, all in memories of the companions and the prophet. The Prophet وسلم, he said, these verses, they belong to this chapter and they will go before those verses and they will come after those verses. Over 6,000 verses were revealed like this. And you find this symmetry. You go to the works of Professor Raymond Farin, 
who looked at the structural elements of the Quran. Non-Muslim, American, when he studied the structure, he said, I was convinced that this is from Allah. He became Muslim. But you have to study. You have to question. You have to question. You, ha you have to question. You have to look at the evidence. And you have to have an open heart. And you have to have an open mind. If I turn the glass, or if I turn the glass upside down, it doesn't matter how much water I pour. You never get water. You have to have the glass open and empty and ready to receive information. You mean that the Quran is perfectly preserved. The Quran is not only perfectly preserved, but it's it's the living miracle, the miracle of Allah. Nothing, Alhamdulillah. You have you have an adib that was being under the peel of ice. Brother, you're being rude. You're being rude. We're trying to have a conversation. You're being rude. Okay. You're older than me. You're older than me. I have to respect you. You're older than me. I have to respect you. But you're being rude. You are being rude. We're having a con we're having a conversation here, and you're shouting. This is rude. So, what was your question? My question is, what, do you know the hadith about speaking the, the verse was preserved to Aisha to, was prepared to write on the Quran yes. and was paid by a book? Yes. What does that prove? It's on the hadith. Yes, it's in the hadith, yes. So why is it not on the Quran? Because it was prepared to be No, no, Quran. no, of course not. Listen, the Quran, first of all, okay, first, no, no, no. No, no. Can you, can you open, can you open no. The, the, the companions used to write down the Quran and they had their own manuscripts. They had their own parchments. Uh, some, this surah, that surah, this chapter, that chapter. Yeah. And there is a hadith that there was a chapter that somebody had written down and it, it was, was under, under the pillow of Aisha, Aisha and the goat ate it. Yeah. Okay. Did the goat eat it from the memory of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Did the goat eat it from the memory of all of the companions? No, did the eating. goat did the goat eat, eat but did the goat eat it from all of the other manuscripts that were also there as well so it's a, it's, a, it's but in islam we've recorded even the we've recorded time and adult is not the quran the quran do you know what the word quran is that which is recited a recitation you know, you know what, what was uh, writing on this paper you know right? of course we know of course we know and an adult 10 times no you know no can no no read, read listen papers? brother you've asked me a question i, I can show you no no a see you don't want you don't want to listen to what i'm saying do you i can show you yeah you show so, me about Aisha. okay yeah, let me show you okay. about what so, was prepared for okay this. okay Please. okay so i've just asked you the question did the goat eat it from the memory of the prophet muhammad peace be upon him Give did he see. eat it from the memory of all of the companions did he eat it from the from the other manuscripts that were available? So it's it's a ridiculous uh, it's a ridiculous thing. What you're claiming is that this was the only writing, that there was no other written copy, and nobody had memorized those verses. This is what you're claiming. But today we have a lineage of scholars that goes right back to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him with every single reciter in the chain. And so you're negating all of that evidence and you're looking at one, one thing that was eaten by a goat. So you asked me the question, brother, right? What's the evidence? Yes. There are so many other evidences. Now, when the Quran was revealed like this over 23 years, one verse here, two verses here, three verses here, four verses here. OK, how would you expect to be one coherent reading? How would you expect that there would be structural patterns within the Quran. They're called uh, parallelism, uh, chiism, and concentrism, concentric patterns, rings, ring upon ring. If you study the works of Professor Raymond Farin, he studied this and he said it's so complex, this could not have come, this could not have come from any human being. So, when the literary when the literary art, art when the literary art is that of a is when the literary art the when the concept. structure and literary art are of a okay. complex nature okay. of such complexity that an american oh, hold on a second Virgin. you ask me a question you ask me a question relax relax you ask you ask me a question you ask me a question i'm going to go now yeah i'm just, I'm just going to finish i'm just going to finish yeah. when the structure is so complex that you have a person who studies literature, studies Arabic, classical Arabic, who says that the complexity is such that he actually accepts Islam, then you know that there's something more than just structure. 
So when you follow the evidence, this is what I'm telling you to do, brother. Don't follow my opinion or his opinion or his opinion. Go wherever the evidence takes you. And Alhamdulillah, in Islam, we don't put our brain in the box to accept Islam. We don't have to negate our logic and our reason to accept Islam. In fact, it's the exact opposite. Islam stimulates the logic and the reason and the, men and, and the uh, mental capacity of an individual and convinces him both on a physical, mental level and on a spiritual level. We don't believe in all of this, sing hymns and sing songs and, everything, and clap and everything is fine. No, you have to be satisfied up here and then inshallah you'll be satisfied here as well. And this is why Allah says in the Quran, there is no compulsion in religion. There's no forcing anybody. Sorry, because I mentioned before about the guy, I cannot find, but you know about this verse. Yeah? Brother, this, uh, hadith, you know that. but I've explained to you no, give me a that the Quran... This verse was for, for breastfeeding and uh, bread, uh, uh, stoning, yeah? Brother, what stoning I'm trying to explain to you is a very simple thing. What, what, no, no, no. Where is, where is just, just, just listen. Verse. Just listen to me. Are you really interested, or you just yeah, want to argue yeah, with me? Yeah, yeah. No, okay. When the Prophet ﷺ he received revelation, yes, he was the first Hufaz. He memorized it completely. The Khalif Abu Bakr radiallahu was a memorizer. Uh, uh, Abu Bakr uh, Umar Khattab radiallahu anhu memorizer. Uh, Uthman radiallahu anhu memorizer. Um, Ali, memorized. They were all memorizers. After the Battle of Yamama in the year two, when 70 of the Hufaz, 70 memorizers were killed, Umar Khattab came to Abu Bakr and said, listen, perhaps we need to compile it into a book. Abu Bakr was reluctant. He said, I don't want to do something that the Prophet didn't do. So they didn't rely on the book. They did not rely on the pages. They had it up here. Today, even if you go onto YouTube and you put three-year-old, five-year-old Hufaz, you'll find even blind Hufaz, five years old. Blind. I'm not asking Complete you, memory of the Quran. You, you are, so whether the goat ate it or daughter. whether the camel, today if you destroy all of the Quran, you put them in a big pile here no, and that. you burn them, I'm we can bring the, the Quran back in one hour. I'm talking about the verse was prepared for the verse. Of, uh, well, well, it was prepared. Two, I think. So it was prepared to go into the Quran. Yes. Uh, where's the hadith for that? I, I could have found, but you know it's, that. No, it's you rubbish. You're talking nonsense. Okay. What you're saying no, no, is that you, that no, no. What you're saying is that that what second. that parchment was prepared yeah. to go into the book, yeah. but there was no book at the time of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So what are you talking about? Was prepared it's after his death. Was verse was revealed. Was revealed. But the, the book was only the the mushaf. Was revealed. Sorry, the, sorry, the, not the mushaf. Was revealed. The mushaf was, was only Give compiled a a, a, in year two of the death of the Prophet Anyway, I have to go and pray. I think okay. I've made my arguments very clear. Okay. Yeah, yeah. To be honest, <laughs> guys, take your mics, please. I've got to go and pray. Please go with wherever the evidence goes. If we apply our emotions, we're going to go wrong. But don't say me that you don't know about the hadith, I didn't, about, I, about the goat. I didn't say that I don't know. You see, but you're, but you're claiming, but you're saying it's wrong. No, 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 but your claim was that this was, was revealed. Prepared. This was, was prepared. revealed. What is revealed? You said prepared. Yeah, sorry, because That's my wrong. English is not good. That's why revealed. So that, what is the difference of so prepared and revealed? Because prepared means that it was prepared okay. to, to revealed, go somewhere, to do revealed. something. What is revealed? Revealed is something that you received. Exactly. Prepared is something that you prepared okay. to do was, something with. Was revealed from the, what is it? You said there was you said prepared. Okay. That's why I told that wrong. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. So we have to be very accurate. Okay, revealed. Big difference. Something that's revealed is received. Something that is prepared is prepared yeah. for, for something it's else revealed. for something else hmm. your, your, your statement was factually wrong that's why i corrected your, your, your statement of prepared was i will show you next week and we'll come here because your i can remember the idea statement i will bring you next week that's why i corrected you i corrected you on that point i did not correct you i did not correct you on the goat eating it was revealed and the goat eat it anyway i did not correct you on the goat eating it i corrected you i'm prepared it's a big difference wait it doesn't matter the goat but, 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 but,